me tell you a story. One day, many, many years ago, I was hanging out with my family. My mom was there, my dad was there, sisters and brothers, nieces and nephews. We were playing checkers, there was butter churning. Everybody was happy. And then a tornado came and swooped me away. I thought I was gonna die, but I didn't. I was in black Twitter. Okay, I have a confession. None of that actually happened, but some of these publications really treat black Twitter like it's some mystical land that's right next to Asgard. When in actuality, black Twitter is, well, it's really just a way for the media to label when black people do things on Twitter. Because when black people do anything, it has to be labeled, put into some monolithic group. And that monolithic group has been defined as black Twitter. And even though black people have been using Twitter as a mechanism to voice concerns, create change, mobilize movements for years, People are just now starting to think that this is something worth paying attention to. And while I agree that covering what's going on in the black community is gravely important, there's a right and a wrong way to go about it. For instance, saying, hey, we're covering black Twitter. That's the wrong way to go about it. Because by saying we're covering black Twitter, you're basically saying, I don't really understand black people. Because if you did understand black people, you would know that it's virtually impossible to cover the vastness of the ideas and interactions of the black community on a social media platform like Twitter. See, black Twitter is merely a small part of the overall black community. And saying that you'll solely focus on black Twitter means that you think you can encompass all of black culture in a series of 140 character tweets. By saying that you're gonna have a beat specifically for black Twitter, and ignore the rest of black culture, you're saying that you only care about the black community that you can turn into a viral clip. What the LA Times and publications like that should have done was say that they wanna cover overall black culture. Just give me some sign that you care about the nuances of the black people who read your publication. But it seems like a lot of people are reacting to the growing power of the black voice in social media by pandering instead of saying that they actually care about the issues that we're talking about. That goes for the LA Times all the way up to the presidential candidates who are more focused on keeping it real than black lives actually mattering. At this point, I'm half expecting Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders to have a nay-nay contest for the black vote. Here's what everybody needs to understand. Black people are people. We have different hopes, dreams, disagreements, jokes in various ways to express ourselves. By putting this in a small box and thinking that you can cover it all by following your timeline shows that you don't really understand the people you've been tasked to cover in the first place. 